Pai, o que tá acontecendo? É o um fenômeno. Aquilo provavelmente é só um exercício de treinamento. Tem alguma coisa chegando. Aí, se eu não te conhecesse, diria que você tá preocupado. Well, first I would like to know why now it's a good time to revisit the Shark Boy and Lava Girl universe. You know, Netflix asked me if I would create a new series, a new series of movies for them, like uh, that's not tied to my past stuff, but that's kind of genre with kids, action, adventure, a live action. And so I came up with an idea right away. We can be heroes and uh, and so the first script I turned in, it was just all original. I didn't have Shark Boy and Lava Girl weren't really part of it. It wasn't until we we're about to film that I thought, gosh, I have a bunch of really cool kids with superpowers, but I wish one of them had shark straight. That's such a great power to have. So I thought, let's borrow Shark Boy and Lava Girl and make them parents. That way it feels like a legitimate superhero team that you would have heard of. And then the kid can have a, a power a combination of their powers. So it's not really a sequel to that movie. It's it's really its own movie because they were part of a dream world in the other movie. Here I went, went ahead and made them real. I just wanted to make them legitimate superheroes. Como tá fazendo isso? Minha mãe é Lava Girl, mas meu pai é o Shark Boy. Muito legal. You have films of different genres in your career, like Spy Kids, Sin City, From Dusk to Dawn, and now We Can Be Heroes. How is it working with such different styles? And do you have a favorite one? It's a duality most people don't get to have in their work. You know, we have it in our life. Like, you go out at night with your friends, your machete, your Sin City. But when you come home, you're Spy Kids. You're Spy Kids <laughs> dad. You're We Can Be Heroes dad. And I like to separate church and state. Like, I don't put jokes in my family films that go over a kid's head that adults will get. You know, I keep it clean like you do as a parent. I like to parent my kids that way, and I like to parent other people's kids that way through my movies. So the adult <laughs> side of me can go make movies like Sin City and Machete. But the kids ones, it's really where a lot of your heart lies because your family, and especially for me, growing up in a family of 10, having five kids, um, your most important relationships are that family-based. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm very lucky that I can do the duality and have that in the work. So to some people it seems strange, but no, everybody has those two sides, to them. at least two sides of them more. So I like, I say I like the family ones more by far. They're the most enriching. They're the ones that you've invested most of your time cultivating, you know, the ideas for because you spend so much time with your family, hopefully. And uh, putting that in the film for other families is the best. That's why my family works on the movie with me. It's a family making a family film for other families. Bem-vindo ao Quartel General dos Heróicos. Você vai ficar em nosso forte subterrâneo, onde os filhos de super-heróis ficam em segurança. And if you, if you could choose a superpower from one of the characters in the movie, what it what it would be? Um, for an example, I would like to have Gumpy's superpower because I love her. She's amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. All those powers are really cool. I'd say rewind. And, uh, and my kids are now getting older. If I could just rewind back to when they were little. Oh. So happy. I just do it all over again. And how was the casting for these amazing kids? You know, I, I've gotten to where I realize it's just very subjective. Like if you had three different people picking the kids, they'd all pick someone different. But I look for a particular personalities. Like it's not the one that you would think that's very outward and very professional looking and very bright, like almost like a someone ready for like say Disney Channel or something where they just gotta be on all the time. It's the quieter one, the more introspective one, the one that, that you can tell they have this creativity and this very realness to them. Like Yaya, who plays Missy Moreno, I could tell already without me even giving her any direction, she was already in the zone. And if I just talk with her a little bit, I know we could really create this character together. Did that across the board. And you got to think also as an ensemble, you can't just think of a child on their own. You have to think, how are they going to work with the other kids? How's everyone going to fit together? There's 11 of these kids. So that's a, that's a different level of thinking. That's like three layered chess you have to be thinking about. So um, it helps that I've had a lot of experience that, that I've been around a lot of kids and worked with kids. To pick them. Quando precisarem, estaremos aqui. 